let's take a look at this problem. We've got 8 over 20 um, xy to the third times 30 x squared y over 36 times 3 over 24 xy. Okay, first off, we're going to focus on numbers. And I'm looking for a number on top and a number on the bottom. Uh, they don't have to be in the same fraction, but just one's on top, one's on the bottom. They both can be divided by the same number. And uh, I'll start with the uh, 20 and 30 here. Those are both divisible by 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 30 divided by 10 is 3. It's not very readable. There we go. Okay, let me write down what I have left. So we got 8 over 2xy to the third times 3x squared y over 36 times 3 over 24xy. And let's look for another uh, two numbers. And again, just one's on top, one's on the bottom is the only requirement. Well, I got 3 here and I got 24 here. Those will divide by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 3 divided by 3 is 1. You don't have to keep rewriting this. You can do this all, all together, but I'm just doing it so for to make this clean. So we got 8 over 2xy to the third times 3x squared y over 36 times 1 over 8xy. Okay, again we're looking for a number on top, a number on the bottom. Um, well, here's an 8 and here's an 8. Those look like they'd work pretty good. Uh, both divisible by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 and 8 divided by 8 is 1. Which gives us 1 over 2xy to the third times 3x squared y over 36 times 1 over, and I'll drop that 1 because if, if there's a variable there you don't need it, xy. Okay, still focusing on numbers. Um, 3 and 36 I guess is the last one. They're both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we have 1 over 2xy to the third times, and there's a 1 there, but I also got variables, so I just dropped the 1. So we got x squared y over 12 times 1 over xy. I could go ahead and, and uh, simplify the, um, the variables while I'm at it, but um, let's go ahead and just multiply everything together. Well, up on top we got ones here, so those don't matter. I got x squared y. Now down below we got 2 times 12, which is 24. And when you're multiplying x's together, you just count them. I got 1x here and 1x here. I got 2x's, or x squared. For y's, I got 3y's here. I got 1y here, so I got 4y's. Okay, now let's handle our variables. Now remember, if you have just a y, that's like y to the first power. So whenever you have a single variable there, that's like the, the first power. Okay, so this number carries along. Now we have x to a power over x to a power. And uh, these are actually the same, aren't they? They're both x squared and x squared. So those are going to cancel. So that works out nice. That x squared cancels that x squared. Now let's look at the y's. Um, when you got y to a power over y to a power, you subtract a smaller exponent from a larger one. So 4 minus 1 is 3. And we'll have y to this power, y to the third power, where a larger exponent was, which is on the bottom. Now notice everything disappeared up on top. If everything disappears in a fraction, you always left with a 1. So that would be your answer. 